So I'm going to cast on my yarn. I'm using red yarn because I'm going to make a Christmas. And I see the color is not the best because the machine is red. So I don't know if you can if you can see it. I will try to explain what I'm doing, okay? Okay, this is my last needle or pin. And I'm gonna start cranking. I'm gonna put my counter in zero. I'm gonna make um, 10 rows. And 10, okay? We need to drop seven stitches. I'm gonna start here. It doesn't matter where you start dropping your seven stitches in this row. We're gonna cut the yarn. Cut enough yarn because you're gonna need it for make some stitches. Okay. With your yarn needle. Okay, I'm gonna pick seven stitches. This is one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. Okay, this is my last. I'm gonna leave this tail. You can wrap it with a pin if you want. I'm just gonna leave like that. And now I'm gonna need 15 stitches. So put these. This needle has to take the yarn, so try to pick them. So one, two, three, four, I'm count counting this, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 16. This is my last. So I'm gonna cut again the yarn. I'm gonna drop another seven stitches. I cut this amount of yarn. So pick seven stitches, drop seven stitches. One. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. Five, six, and seven. OK? 
Okay, I'm gonna leave this tail. I'm gonna grab it and just leave it like that. I'm gonna take more yarn from my ball of yarn. And I'm gonna knit the rest of the round. The rest of the round. So let's do this. Put this here, remember, you, this needle has to take the yarn. Continue working normally, but when we reach the hole, we have to do something. Let me show you. Okay. As you can see, we have to continue the pattern from the hook, from the, uh, the pot. We have to continue the pattern in the needles. So this is my last stitch, complete stitch. So this is front, the other is back, front, back front back front back and you can put the so front and you can just continue normally Like this continue cranking and when you reach the other hole we're gonna do the same thing okay continue until we have our last complete stitches this is my uh, complete stitch so this is the yarn is front of the needle we need, we need continue the pattern but it's uh, front back front back front back so front back front back front back front back and front at this point we can put the yarn like normally and now we can we have to put our counter in zero again because we're gonna need 15 rows more so i'm gonna put my counter in zero okay here when i reach my black needle I can put my counter in zero because we're gonna need 15 rows more okay so now it's, it's a normal knitting fifteen rows rows so we finish I'm gonna cut the yarn for pick all my stitches from the machine so cast off okay again with the needle 
we're gonna pick all the stitches please put your finger of the next stitch because it prevents to uh, to get a drop of the stitches coffee I don't if I don't use my finger when you pull this you can pull these too so put your finger to secure your next stitch So please pick it up all your stitches from the machine. Okay, remove your machine. Okay. Where's the Okay, this is the needle. This is gonna. This is the bottom. This is the bottom of the hat. This is the bottom, and the other side is uh, the top. So close the top of the hat, pulling the tail. This tail. So the, the short the short knitting is from the top and the large longest is from the bottom. Pull to close the hat. Okay, close it like uh, we normally close any be beanie. You know, I can cut. I'm gonna leave a short tail like this to secure my pom-pom the opening for the ears is not good so we need to fix it that's why we have this tail here i'm gonna pull it This is from the other ears. Um, okay. Okay. So I'm gonna pull a little bit. There's two tails. Uh, the short tail and the long tail. So I'm gonna pull my short tail. to shape this hole, this opening or whatever you want to call it, just a little bit, because if you tie too much, you can make a line here, and we don't, not, we don't need a line. So we can pull this long tail, and you're going to leave an opening, enough opening for the earrings, because dogs doesn't like uh, they don't like when you smash their ears so here you can use a single crochet but i don't like to use single crochet because the single crochet can make this hole too tight so we don't know the dog has different size of ears so i want this like a stretchy stretchy hole
I'm just gonna make some stitches like all around like this. I'm gonna put the small or short tail inside and I'm gonna start doing some stitches like this just taking the stitches the last every stitch so I'm gonna do this all around the hole this is the best way I found to make this hole stretchy so continue all across of the opening so I finish my row I'm gonna open up stretch the open the opening And I'm gonna hide the tail. Okay. Our ear, your whole ear opening is ready. So do the same with the other, exactly the same thing. Okay, it looks like this. You see? The other tail from the bottom, I'm gonna cut these two. I'm not doing any stitches or any border or edge. I'm just gonna make some stitches here to tie a knot and cut the yarn. So here. So it's almost ready. It's almost ready. For the pom pom, I'm gonna use white yarn. So I'm gonna grab and four of my fingers like a 70 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna cut another piece of yarn and put this in the middle of my fingers in the center. I mean something like that. I'm gonna tie this really good more tight is better Then you just shape with the scissor, shape it, whatever you like. 
more round. So I'm gonna put this in my in the top in the center of the top of the hat. I'm gonna grab the two tails. And I'm gonna make a knot with a red tail we left before and my hat is almost ready i just need to make the cord i'm gonna crochet the cords with my crochet hook so i'm gonna make 35 35 chains Thirty-five. So I'm gonna cut the yarn, leaving a leaving a tail to to sew the cord to the hat. Okay, this is my two cords. Um, now. You can do this. This is optional. I'm gonna make like a little tassel. So I'm gonna cut like four or five uh, strand of yarn like this. Five. That's enough. And I, with my hook, I'm gonna insert in this tail. Let's see if I can take all of them or just some of them. Okay, just one. <laughs> So continue pulling. Okay, I grab all the strands. Like this. And with another piece of yarn we're gonna secure this this tassel we use this technique in crochet to make tassels so I'm gonna pull this I'm gonna tie this made a Like this this is curly because my yarn is uh, I unravel uh, another hat that I, I don't like it so that's why my yarn is curly but yours will be better than this so do the same with the other cord okay this is the cord with the tassel and the other And so we're gonna start uh, attaching the core over here but follow the line of the opening like this
So we're gonna try to sew the cord from here to the bottom, all the way across. Okay. So tie a knot and wave the ends. So you're gonna do the same with the other cord in the other following the line of the earrings. Okay, this hat is ready. You see how it looks? It's so beautiful. So you can try what side is better for your dog, if this side or this side, because one side is narrow from the other this another is wider so whatever your dog looks better you, you can try it i hope you like this tutorial it was very fun to me to make this hat for dogs it's so cute you can make this in any color you want and remember you can modify the number of the rows according to the size of your dog this hat is for a small and medium dogs i made this for one winnie dog and another for my snazzer snazzer dog they are small and medium dogs see if your dog is bigger um, you can add more rows for make this hat more comfortable so i like it I enjoy doing this it's so beautiful okay thank you for watch this video and follow me subscribe please subscribe give me a thumbs up share with your friends share in your social media and thank you bye bye blessing